In the Project Builder, there are three main panels. The Settings panel is your control center for the project settings. The Chat panel is where you interact with the chatbot and brainstorm. And the Documents panel is for creating and managing your finalized documents. You'll find buttons at the top center to hide or show the Settings panel, minimize the chat or the documents area, or expand them for a full screen experience. The Settings panel is divided into seven sections. Each has its own drop-down menu. Under AI Services, you can select an AI service and model that best fits your project needs. This choice determines the underlying AI technology that powers your project. The Knowledge Base section features a toggle switch to activate or deactivate a knowledge base. If you turn it on, you can utilize a knowledge base that you've previously created allowing the AI system to use it as a memory reference. The Presets section is designed to fine-tune your project's writing style and target audience. It includes a toggle for activation, a drop-down to choose a preset writing style, and a plus button to create new presets. This would also be where you can set the reading level and establish specific rules, like avoiding mentions of certain brands. Next is Optimize 4. This is where you can adjust how creatively the AI responds. You have three main options, default, creative, and custom. The custom option allows for fine tuning of elements. It's recommended to experiment with these settings once you're more familiar with the platform. However, it includes temperature, which controls the randomness of responses, top key, which manages diversity in responses, frequency penalty, affecting repetition of words, and Presence Penalty, which influences the introduction of new topics. Following this is Format slash Framework. In this section, you can switch on or off different formatting options. You have a choice between six default formatting options, like blog post, email, outline, and a link to access many more options. Below this, there's a Framework dropdown, offering frameworks like AIDA, PAS, and the four Ps. Additionally, there's a checkbox to enable direct response bullets, a feature that helps integrate persuasive bullet points into your content. Next, you can tailor the tone, style, and goal of your content. Each category offers a range of adjectives to choose from. For example, tone includes options like conversational or playful. Style offers choices like creative or journalistic. And goal encompasses aims like SEO optimization or upselling products. There's also a custom toggle for inputting specific text to guide the AI. Lastly, the output section lets you control the final presentation of your content. It includes a language dropdown, options for content length, and various output formats like Markdown WYSIWYG, HTML code block, and more. This final step ensures your content is the perfect format for your needs. Each of these settings in the panel significantly impacts the behavior and output in the chat and documents panels, giving you a high degree of control over your project's AI-assisted development. In the chat panel, engage in conversations with the chatbot. You can manage multiple conversations through tabs at the top. Type your query, and the chatbot responds based on your settings. Use the eye icon to view the full prompts that were used for your chat. Next to the responses from the chatbot, there is a copy icon and move to document icon. If you press move to document, it will move the entire response to the document where your cursor is currently selected. The documents panel is your workspace for finalizing content. Organized similarly to the chat panel, you can manage multiple documents using tabs at the top. It features a WYSIWYG editor. This is where your brainstorming in chat turns into a polished final product. Both the chat and document panels have an Ask AI feature. Highlight any text anywhere and click Ask AI for options like Rewrite or Expand on this. You can even input custom requests for tailored outputs. Finally, if you want to collaborate, you can click the Share button at the top right to invite others to your project. It's a great way to work together and get feedback.